Red and Rock. Here we are at Ritten Rock. This is part two. And, you know, people will say, oh, hey, uh, this is, you're just going through tourist trap. We're just tourist traps, huh? No. There is a haunting about this rock. There, you, there's a Native American spirit that sits up on top of the peak of the rock. Uh, at certain nights but this cave used to be used during Native American practices of course the graffiti doesn't really help but <coughs> there's a creek yeah. It sounds like it's kind of echoing. You can hear it. Like it yeah. I, uh, water can re uh, water sounds can reverb from rocks, especially sandstone. I wonder how old some of this stuff's written on here. Oh, the graffiti. Right there, 1940. Right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 1940. 1930 CCM AW. Wow. PASW 1940. Damn. Only local stories about the rock can be told around the park itself. Legend has it that many Native American spirits can be seen around this rock still carrying out their daily activities like it was yesterday. Archaeologists have also dated carvings back to the 1855 and remnants of many practices can be seen still to this day. The darker past of it, however, can relate to satanic worshipping and various rituals of dark magic. That makes you wonder if that's the natural world they got carved out for somebody to do something there. I think those are rooms. Uh, that rain you can fix it, right? <clears throat> no, it's just oh, my got some stuff to cut, off, cut it off. Yeah, Down but if you look up there, it says bar. What's it say? Bar. I'm not joking. And like, said, and then I see it's where it said Harold. What's that say? Clink. I see Donald something 1935. Wow. That's a 1990. Annie Gossett, 1980. What's this? Donald Gossett, 1935. Look, if you look, it's been so long that it's grown over and put more like sediment on top of it, so yeah. it looks like it's coming out. So there's Roy. Yeah, that's very cool. There's Jay. <coughs> so imagine like having a family right here. You know, you have to have like a pit for uh, like cooking and whatnot, your own fire. And this was part two of exploring Clear Creek. I'm pretty sure. Clayton's got red belly. Woo! We'll see you next time. Bye. Please subscribe to the Punkcraft channel. Please hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Bye.